All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Sparklight. It's a roguelite made by Red Blue Games, who I don't think they've made anything else before this, but the game is based on Rogue Legacy, Crypt of the Necrodancer, and a couple other ones, but honestly, it's effectively a roguelike Legend of Zelda-like, uh, in the old school variety, so, you know, Link to the Past and so on and so forth. And for me, that's really exciting, because I never really got into those games until recently-ish. And so it's kind of fun to start experiencing this specific genre with all the derivative games. Because there's there's some dang good ones, and this is probably my favorite. I got to play this game a little bit at PAX. I saw it at PAX West uh, 2018 as like a demo kiosk. And I'm like, oh, cool. I'll see if the devs ever come by. But they, they weren't there that, that year. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll just wait. Got to play it at PAX East this year. Thought it was great. Played it again at PAX West. Thought it was still great. And now here we are. Uh, and they were kind enough to send a key along. So anyway, rerouting the circumnavigation course around the storm. We need to get out of here. This storm's highly unusual. I'm detecting severe seismic activity on the surface. For now, we have full systems foot. Wait, wait, stand by. We're experiencing strange corrosion on our hull. It, it looks like it's moving. Quick, take out that muck with your wrench. Craft. Muck craft. Nice work. Ah! Hammer down that nail before this whole thing falls apart. Bonk. I feel like we're actually having it get worse. If anything. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, it's A to dash across. Use your rocket boots. It's no use. We're going to have to abandon ship. Initiating escape protocol. No. I guess I have to do it over here. Oh, that says coyote jumping. This amulet's been passed on your family for generations. It's priceless to you. And we can't jam it into our pocket for what reason? Okay, come on. Oh no, the switch is miscalibrated. There's no time. You'll have to go without me. Please, don't fret. It's truly been a pleasure serving you. Goodbye, Ada. And we go without a second look. Huh. Okay, so Red Blue Games has made games before. They're known for Mini Fish, Mini Nut, and Mini stack em on uh, Android and iOS. Or is it just Android? Oh no, it's Android and iOS. Cool. I appreciate that they... Uh, are getting started... Can I get this open? No, I can't. They're getting started with indie developments with this game specifically, because it's super good. Okay, clearly I have to go in here. Maybe I just have to hit it or hit it with a hammer. Oop, no. I'm doing something wrong. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Well, I'm just going to hide in here for the rest of the game. Wait out the storm. Unless I broke it. Uh. I still remember. I could just go in there. Oh, there was something in the tree. Am I blind? Oh, this? No, I don't. I don't think I can do anything with this. Uh other tree. What? Oh. All the way over here? I am I am blind. Oh shit, you're right! There's the amulet up there. I never look up. This is how it always works. You recovered your family's necklace. You've had it since you were a child, and the way it sparkles reminds you of twinkling stars. I if you've never seen me before, you'll know number one rule is I never ever look up. Even in a freaking 2D game, I don't look up. It just, it if it's above my head, it ain't there. Uh, and we get the Spark Slinger. Spark light tensioner cobbled together with spare parts from your pockets. It's a little rickety, but it'll do in a pinch. Sorry. So, this, I did the cardinal sin, cardinal sin that I don't like doing with other games, uh, with games in general. So, like I said, I've played this game before. The problem is, 
That means I've done this before, which means I'm just kind of like playing on autopilot instead of actually thinking about what I'm doing. Uh, which is actually quite bad for me, because I just kind of... I don't brain my way through it, and that's not good. And so, usually what happens is... Let's see, replace. Let's see. You've reverse engineered the Spark Slinger. You can now assemble it in a workshop. So interesting thing about this game is each dungeon has like temporary equipment that you can work with. Uh, and then eventually you can re reverse engineer it and remake it. But you have to actually remake it uh, to pull that off. Found a piece of sparklight. This is a primary currency of Geodia. Riff. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so now that, now that we're past that dungeon, maybe I'll actually know what I'm doing. What's up, dude? Boy, am I glad to see another person. That was quite a storm. Never seen anything like it. And those ground tremors, I was worried this old place was going to ship shift out from under us. Name's Hawkins, and this is a... was my widget shop. I will be able to do business if these tremors keep up. And rumors of a floating city where people are taking refuge from the storms. I'd like to set up shop there, but I can't find my widget bag anywhere. Hey, you think you could help me track it down? I'll make it worth your time. I think some Kremlins nicked it from me during the storm. There's a camp of gremlins south, south, or southwest of here. Sorry. See if you can find my widget bag there. And yeah, we need the we need the bomb blimp to actually take that thing out. Let's see. So she just crashed in the temple where her amulet works. It means she's special. Got a piece of blue sparklight. It's worth five pieces of sparklight. Found the widget bag. It contains some valuable looking gizmos. Someone likely wants it back. I'm going to break everything. Oh, I love this music. It's super cute. Whee. Aha, you found my widget bag. To be honest, I didn't think you could handle those gremlins. Who uses a wrench as a weapon? Extra the witches. Now I can end. Head out and find this refuge place folks are talking about. I didn't forget our bargain. As a reward for bringing me my widgets, you can take, keep the bag. Got the widget bag, and I can hold widgets you find in the world. I even let you keep a few time mines I left in there. Plants an explosive on the ground, blowing up after a short duration. Ever make it to the floating town? Come say hello. I take you with me, but I'm a bit of a jerk. Oh, it's left. It's left bumper. Are these? Oh, they're. They're like little timed landmines. I'm used to uh, breaking those with a... There's like a remote controlled bomb that you get access to later. These landmines are new business for me. Let's see. I guess I might as well just wreck the rock as we go along. I don't think I'm going to need these for much for puzzle solving. And maybe I will. I'm not really sure. So you... So many games use a wrench now. I think it's odd. Uh, I think it's odd that it's still odd. I mean, maybe these people haven't heard of Ratchet and Clank. Not the developers, just the people in the universe. Oh, good, they actually do give you hearts now. Oh, right, because there's a boss on the other side of this. Ada, you're alive! Listen, you shouldn't be here. He's too strong for you. Oh, no. C get out before it's too... Yeah! Boris, the Tunneling Titan. Oh, you can actually beat him now. Or can you? Well, it seems like you can maybe beat him. If I remember right, uh, last time I played this, the, uh... Trying to dash would actually make it so you'd lose, like, all grip on the ground and just fly right into him. And that was very much a... Ooh, that hurts. Okay. And there we go. It's okay. I think that's supposed to happen. I think he used to just be, like, totally invincible. Or, like, there was a certain point where you just couldn't beat him. I don't really remember what it was. One way or another. Stellar, you're awake. 
Welcome aboard the Refuge. It's a safe haven for the chaos on Geodia. It's also a modern marvel of technology. We've leveraged contemporary astro theory to achieve perfect energy lossless flight. We pulled you up days ago, but you've been out like a light. That Titan gave you a real beating. What were you thinking, fighting one of the Baron's foremen alone? You need to be in a Titan rig yourself to stop one, or at least as strong as one. Hold on, that gives me an idea. Can I see your wrench multi-tool? Yep. Yes, that's prime. Okay, this only take me a second. Aha! It works. I've outfitted your multi-tool with a patch board. Oh, you also need this. Increases maximum health by a quarter heart. Equipable with a multi-tool enhancement machine in the medical facility. It's a resilience patch. You can equip it in your multi-tools patch board to survive more hits down on the surface. Remember, you can only equip patches from the multi-tool enhancement machine here in the med bay. With enough patches, maybe you can take out that foreman and rescue your robot friend you've been mumbling about in your sleep. If you want more patches, I'm going to need more spark light. They're powered by this stuff. The only way to get more spark light is from mutants and gremlins back down on the surface. If you want to go back down, speak to Cruz on the East Docks. Okay, so I have 80 spark light. So we can get the bronze max energy, the multi-tool damage patch, a little bit of extra health, or save up for a kinetic in converter. Or talk to this guy. That's the refuge's chief engineer. He hasn't spoken since we launched the refuge. Okay, so I can equip that at the very least. It ain't much, but it's some extra health. So you upgrade the medical facility and everything else is busted. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Uh wonder what happens if you actually beat him. I Last time I spoke to the devs, they said something about... I, I guess I really only spoke to one of the developers, but uh, last time I spoke to him, he was talking about adding something, maybe if you beat him. Because I think originally it would just cause the game to crash, but I don't remember. Wow, it's a beat! Wasn't that the happiest sound in the world? I've been searching everywhere for more beats. I can't believe you found one. Beats used to be easy to find, but the Baron's pollution makes it hard for them hard for them to get enough air to sing. And when beats can't sing, they eventually wilt and die. They've started hiding hiding to avoid the pollution, but I'm afraid they'll all die if we don't find them soon. If you find any beats during your adventures, send them here so they can sing with us. Oh, my name's Harmony, by the way, and this is my golden beat buddy, Tempo. I will bash Bush. Bush bash. Okay, so we can also up... Uh, construct the widget shop. I'm not much of a salesman if I can't set up shop. Now I'm just supposed to earn a living. And find more spark light to power my widget shop. I'll give you widgets for free. Workshop. What a mess around you. I can't even think. I need some spark light to get my workshop back in order. These gadget gadgets won't invent themselves. And this guy. Hey there, rookie. I'm Cruz, ace navigator and pilot. When you want to disembark, talk to me and I'll ferry you to where you need to go. So, you all geared up and ready to head down for some spoils? Hell yeah. Woohoo! Away we go. So you're getting Owlboy vibes. Kinda? Uh, Owlboy was a very strict platformer. This is isometric top-down. Hey! Illuminates the area for a short period of time. Uh, let's see. But no, this is... This is very much just, uh... There we go. Okay, so they're not invincible. I don't have to stun them uh, to actually hit them. There we go. It's very much a Zelda game. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I've actually been really shocked that there are so few Zelda-likes in existence for the most part. Like, we have a couple of them. Actually, we've been having more. I know there's Blossom Tales, and oh, there's like one or two more in development currently that look like they're going to be pretty good. But for the most part, like, old school Zelda? Okay, Scatterbomb launches spark clusters in the air, exploding all around you. I don't remember how to cycle between these. Ow. I just walked right into that one. Remember if you can heal in the world. I brought that up as a as a critique when I was playing the demos, but they said they specifically kind of wanted it to be hard out in the open world to like get health back. I think that's fair. Uh, anyway, so to describe this game, uh, 
at least meta progression wise, it's very much in the same vein as maybe not so much Rogue Legacy, but you're going, you're grabbing Sparklight, the, the blue resource that I've been picking up this entire time. How do I switch items? Because there's the map. Okay, supply bag. Let's equip that instead. Is there a... Can I check controls? No. I was hoping I could. I want to see if there's a quick way to switch between the uh, the abilities, because that would actually be really handy. Let's see. So the map is rainbow? Uh, I mean, there are, there are different colors for the map. Oh, I should probably mention the map is going to be procedurally generated. Uh, every room is hand-designed, but the way it's stitched together is, is pure procedural generation. Can I break this with a hammer? I can. I don't know if there's much of a reason for me to break these small rocks, but at least I know I can break them. And E-Pack. D discharges refill your energy meter, which is only useful if I actually have any gadgets. Okay, I'm gonna leave them alone for a second. I don't think I want to go in here yet. That's got a boss. I want to explore. Uh, but yeah, so... Oh, question. Can I wreck that? Uh, okay, so that's... Not quite what I was expecting to do. I thought this would be a rocket. Okay, that worked, but it wasn't worth it. I think I got a health, uh, heart out of it. I was thinking I could drop a, uh, drop the, the little bomb blasty bits. Faster, but it didn't really work. Okay. You found a piece of white sparklight. It's worth ten pieces of sparklight. Eh, it's nice. I like the little mini dungeons. I don't know if there's any, like, secret walls on this. But yeah, hidden paths, hidden little areas, all sorts of... All of the goodies that you're kind of used to uh, from an old-school Zelda game. But with roguelike bits. Because, uh, yeah, you, you gather the sparklight, you take it, you inevitably get wrecked, and you go back to town, spend it, upgrade the town, upgrade your gear, so on and so forth. Hey, we got a beat. Whoa, didn't think I'd meet anyone out here. I'm Bogo, nice to meet you. I was exploring with my sister, Margo. But we got split up. I can't go back to the refuge until I know she's safe. Think you can find her for me? You find her, give her this medallion, and let her know I'm safe. Thanks, be careful. If the world fractures before you find her, it'll break the medallion. We're exploring the vine vinelands when we got split up. Maybe she's still there. I don't even know where that is. But that's fine. Mm. I'm not betting on my ability to break that. Yeah, this looks like something else. Yeah, whatever that is, that is that requires a gadget I do not have. Huh. I don't know. I kind of like this system. I know a lot of people might say, like, why not just have it be a full-on Zelda-like? I think that's an entirely valid critique. But at the same time, like, as a lover of roguelikes, I'm just glad to have the variety. Let's see, we can get in here. Because, yeah, the world design on the old... A. Hey, here's the bomb balloon that I was talking about. Sparklight inverter backfed with a sparklight rectifier. That sounded dirty. It's so volatile that it must be suspended to protect it from bumps and bruises. Safety first. Okay, so now we've got uh, a new meter on our UI. If you notice in the top left, I have an energy meter. Oh god, steering this thing is some kind of fresh hell. Whoops. Oh! Okay, but the energy meter refills just over time. Oh, that's a nice system. I was really afraid that I'd, I'd like, run out of energy while I'm in here. Or maybe it's just refills while I'm in this dungeon. I'm not entirely sure. One way or another. Yeah, this does uh, steering. Like, it, I have to do left and right to turn it left and right. As opposed to having it based on uh, you know, up and down or anything like that. Question. Uh, I probably shouldn't have this go past me. Because there's a small chance it'll blow up in my face as I try and go by. And I don't, I don't want that. 
So I should probably also mention, I don't think they're launching early access or anything like that. This is 100% just full release. And I'm glad for that. I don't mind early access games, but like... Uh, too many early access roguelikes and I just start getting really sick of them. I'm just gonna hang out here. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. I gotta love me some Undermine and Legend of Bumbo and whatnot. But there is something to be said about a roguelike that just comes out and is... done. <laughs> Let's put that down. But we still unlock it as a gadget. Reverse engineered the boom balloon. You can now assemble it in the workshop. Heck yeah. The steering seems super slippery. It's more of a puzzle solving tool than a combat thing. I think... At least I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the point. Hey, we got another little beat boy. Beat buddy. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Uh, question. So we haven't really gone left or right or down. So I guess let's start heading that direction. Looks like these things also respawn. I'm okay with that. Not like they're hard. It's the pigs that are spooky. Yeah, I'm not even sure if the pigs are that spooky. But here's another question. Ah. Uh, I wasn't sure if you could actually go up the anchor. I'm pretty sure you just have to die to go back. Which is grim, but it's fair. They were talking about maybe adding a, a means to go, like, back up. But I guess they decided not to. And that's entirely fair. Uh, let's see. Three. Goodens. I'm pretty sure everything comes back. Man, I can't get past that chest. Because I am not a capable person. Three. Let's see, this game looks super cute. Glad Wander's playing it. I this is one of the uh, one of the most anticipated games this year for me actually. I might as well mention that while we're still here. Uh, like when I saw it last year at PAX, I was just like, "Holy shit, this game looks good!" And I'm glad it's as good as I thought it was going to be. Like the pixel art is super nice. The gameplay is familiar to the extreme. Let's um. It's here. Okay. Uh, we want this one. I am 90% certain I'm not going to be able to get through here without one of those bomb things. Yeah, alright. Alright, we'll come back later. Let's see. Charge Hammer can't break the big rocks? I tried it. I don't think so. We can try again, but pretty sure it can't. Yeah. Now it just bonks them. There are, there are power-ups that let you break them, and I can go make a boom balloon. But I'm I'm currently not capable of getting uh, breaking them myself, but that's okay. Let's see. I'm gonna fall into so many pits. Ugh. I don't know how many of you guys saw my my Moonlighter series. Oh, that was one of the games they they had mentioned as a influence for this Moonlighter. Which, boy, if Moonlighter had played like this and had this level of, like, quality combat, oh, I think I would like Moonlighter so much more. I liked the idea of it, but the combat was just stuffy. Oh. Okay, wait. Yeah, do not go into deep water. I guess it makes sense. Just... Okay, uh, let's see. Where do we even have left? Not much. Right, and then up or down. And then we'll be stuck. I was hoping to get more of those, like, bomb things, but... Eh, we'll see what we got. What is this? And who is here? Who are you and why are you here? What the... Yar! Ha ha ha! Look what just washed up, mateys! It's our next contestant! What are you waiting for? Come on down! Today's your lucky day. We have an exciting game for you to play here on Monty's Hall. 
I'll just need to see your crew card to get started. STOP EVERYTHING! You don't have a crew card. Looks like you'll be walking the plank. Ha! I'm just pulling your peg leg. We're happily accepting new members. Here's your brand new exclusive one-of-a-kind Monty's crew card. Guaranteed fun for all Latin lovers, scoundrels, and scallywags. I'd like to take this moment to point out that he just has a bunch of cardboard cutouts in his audience. This is a very lonely but rich man. Every time you play my game, I'll add a star to your card, get 10 stars, and I'll upgrade your crew rack. Today's game costs 10 sparklight to play. Want to try your luck? Hey. Wahoo! All right, here's how you play. Open one of these here chests for a chance at a big reward. I'm going to go with the middle one. Not so fast. Before you pick, I'm going to make this a bit easier. I'll open one of the empty ones. Now, are you sure you want to open that chest? Oh, better luck next time, champ. Ooh wee what a blast. Well, that's it for today, folks. We'll see you next time on Monty's Hall. Oh, as usual, Monty is a greedy, greedy little Gus. Luckily, it's only 10, 10 spark lights, so... I don't know. Okay, there we go. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get it. Let's see. First watch, uh, first watch the first hour to hour and a half of this game without commentary. I'm much better with it. Well, thank you. I can't watch games without commentary. It just doesn't work for me. And again, I don't watch a whole lot of Let's Plays or really anything. I like to watch speedruns when... Oh man, speedruns with good commentary are so good. Which pretty much just means GDQ. I was trying to watch some, uh, I was watching a uh, Digimon World speedrun before this. But that just wasn't good. Yeah, definitely can't get through there anytime soon. I think that's actually how we access the last area, maybe? Oh, switching gives a two-thirds chance of winning. Interesting. I like this music. It's it almost doesn't fit the game. It's it's very like I feel like I should be farming something. We Sup? Well, that thing died. This is like a little micro dungeon. Looks like it. Eh, doesn't look like there's anything else in there. Oh! You know what I've, like, totally forgotten? I have a gun. Wait, no, I had a gun. The gun I need to actually go back and make. I'll do that later. Oh. Interesting there's no music for this little micro-dungeon. Slammer Gyroscope. Allows you to move faster while charging up the slammer. Oh! That actually would be quite lovely. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't generally use charge attacks in these games because it slows you down. Also, you have to hold a button down, which is always kind of inconvenient. Okay. Is this a new zone? I didn't know I had access to other zones. Nope, I most certainly do not. But we have another one of those. Oh. To the Vinelands. Okay, so there is another... One of these crystals. Oh, but it's buried underground. I need to shuffle. I get it. Let's see. So I could farm for Sparklight, but I think I'm just going to go try and beat that boss. Because I don't think we have anywhere else that we... Uh, no, there's one more section I haven't been to yet. Because, yeah, farming just basic mods, mobs for Sparklight sounds like absolute tedium. And I'd like to avoid that. I'm so glad those boars are not, like... Super. Oh, 
Adreno boost. Patch, packs a punch of adrenaline, healing a small amount of health. Yeah! I'm so glad those trees drop little consumables. It'd be nice if they dropped them more often. What if there's any patches that increases the chances of that? Because, yeah, having just, like, a little healer thing would help a lot. Okay, so we want to go over down and to the left. Got it. But keep smacking the trees around, because they've got some amount of spark light on them. And also, maybe more healing items. I think that's a good trade-off, because originally I was like, maybe have hearts drop from enemies or, or in the grass. And I can safely say that they picked probably the best option. Okay. We... And we're good. So what else do we have over here? Or... Oh! Shoot! Wow, that board did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. I should have used that healing pack. I was going to save it for the inevitable boss fight. But I did not. Eh, it's fine. Does the overworld randomize upon death? Yes, it does. Ooh, that was another close call. We snatched you up just before that quake. The way the world's been shifting below us is truly remarkable. It's as if it completely fractures and restructures itself. The world won't be the same the next time you disembark for Sparklight, so be alert down there. Okay, anyway, we want to pick this up. Okay. And then we want to save the rest. Can I fix this up? Okay. Wow. Okay. Hey, take one before you go. Pop light. Next you, I'm back in business. If we find more spark light, we can make this widget shop even better. Uh, do I have enough for the workshop as well? I do. Thanks for helping fund my tinkering. But you can't be in here if you don't know what you're doing. Only the best minds can master the art of sparklight engineering. Just a minute, what have you got there? That is schematic for a spark slinger that looks like quite the exceptional device. Using a sparklight tensioner for maximal kinetic energy. Why didn't I think of that? Where did you find this? The inspiration for this? Let me see that schematic. Those founders ruins. How could that be? The vaults have been sealed off for all of recorded history. In any event, I can learn a lot from your findings. Here, take this. Vault Triangular. Triangulator. Blah. Reveals the location of Founder's Vaults on the world map after you land in the world. It's a Vault Triangulator triangulator patch. Its algorithms helped us discover vault locations long ago, before we gave up trying to enter them. If you find any more inspiration in those vaults, come back here to my workshop. You can use any available workshop to invent a gadget and breathe life into those schematics. If you run out of workbenches, you can power up more by bringing me Sparklight. Now get going. I have valuable discoveries to make. Invent. Okay, so I am criminally poor. So we'll come back later. And yeah, I gotta go put that patch on. Oh, right. We, uh... We had some beats for her. Hi, Ada. Still working on the song. Do you want to hear anyway? Yes. Hooray! Hit it, Tempo. It's still quite sparse. We'll get there someday. Come back after you find more peats. Okay, now let's go put that patch on. Okay, so we want to do... We might as well just jam all of them on. As there's no reason not to. Whoa! Eventually your inventory space gets a lot bigger, but uh... That is... Okay, so I'm still slower when I'm charging, but I'm not as slow. Well, that's good, at least. 